bit early yesterday. A couple of her voluntaries were different. Forward one and a half pike. Oh, that's much more online than we saw her with her diving yesterday. Seemed to lose her concentration in the middle of the competition yesterday. Maybe because of the length of the sessions. Very strong hurdle and takeoff. Nice pike position. That's a top dive. Straight in and look at the scores. Eights, eight and a halves, 42.33. America's big hope here, Wendy Lucero. Forward one and a half with Tuck. She's electing to save some of the degree of difficulty to a later dive. Tuck piked out. Very expressive diver, Wendy. Nice long hurdle onto the end. Tuck hikes out, looks for the water, and the entry. Again, good scores. The pressure's on early. Dorothy Linda leads after the first round, as she did indeed yesterday. Gao Min. Back dive in the straight position. Let's see how much splash comes up. Ooh, over Back dive in the straight position. Let's see how much splash comes up. Ooh, over rotate. by many to win the gold medal. Back dive in the straight position. Let's see how much splash comes up. Oh, over-rotated it at the start, but she's got so much control that she stopped that spin by using the arms in the appropriate manner, and it didn't look like it was going to go over, and it did. Right at the start here, a lot of power into the legs. The arm action has stopped it and nailed it. What a diver. USA, Wendy Lucero. She's placing her back dive in here early as well. Straight position, settling the feet on the board. It looked like it was going to be over rotated, but not the case. Picked the finish very well. Mark Lindsay up in the crowd there. Silver medalist in the one meter. Nice and smooth. Good body position. Oh, the judges like that. Too. Nine and a half from the British judge. 42.84. Standings after two rounds and Gao back to the lead. First after two dives. Watch the high position. Oh, has left it short now. This China's Gao Min. First after two dives. Watch the height. Oh, and has left it short. Now, this was the sort of problem that she was having yesterday. Did three or four dives with very poor entries. And this is, here's another one today in the final. So this will hurt her scores. It's well short. Plenty of height in the takeoff on balance. But those legs are not getting around, and she's thrown quite a splash. Judges haven't missed it. Only 34.02. Wendy Lucero of the USA. The third dive. position. Oh, very graceful that one. Went for maximum height, got it right up in the air. Teammates giving some encouragement from the stands. Watch the height she gets. Takes it right up in the air, looks for the entry position and a smooth finish. Six and a half and sevens. Did the scores are been tightly grouped today. 10. Motobuchi up to 7. She's diving well. Rogers. A lot of power into That was a good one. Almost identical to how she did it yesterday. Straight body. Yesterday dropped the head a little bit to make the appearance that it went pike. Not so much today. No smiles and giggles, as we saw in the preliminary yesterday. Straight position, and in cleanly. Seven and a half, some eights there, 41.04. That's better from Gao. Wendy Lucero of the USA. Straight inward dive. Leading the field after three dives. Continuing her best form. 
She's scoring higher from the judges today than in the preliminary competition. A lot of power into the rotation then. So she had the brakes on at the end of the dive, but it's gone in okay. So it'll get reasonable marks from the judges. After four rounds, Arena Lashko has taken the lead. And double We're twisting one and a half somersault here this from Wendy one, and a half, one twist, big dive, the finish. It's the finish that she's been missing. Our favourite for the gold medal is Gao Min, and through the first four dives, one was a little indifferent, but she's been in pretty good form, Don. Yes, but even more erratic than we're, we're used to, she normally doesn't miss any. This is a forward one and a half, one twist. Watch the finish. It's the finish that she's been missing in the preliminary yesterday and one of her dives today, but this one's okay. She's been tending to roll the feet from the legs over at the end of the dive. Plenty of power in the hurdle. Right on balance, full twist. And just here, good entry this time. And normally when we were expecting eights, she's just giving us seven and a half. 48, eight, four. Wendy Lucero of the USA. Second top qualifier after yesterday's preliminaries. Diving well again today to be in second place after four rounds. Well, we saw a great single twister from Gail Min. We're going to be seeing a double twisting one and a half somersault here from Wendy Lucero. Big dive. She got the twist done okay, but did she get in the vertical position before hitting the water? It's a lot of dive to get done here. Double somersault, uh, one and a half somersault, double twist, remember. A lot easier to see this in replay in slow motion. One twist, two twists, pikes out, no hands hitting the water while the body was definitely piked. Yes, and the score's down accordingly. 46.02 for the zero. And after five rounds of the dives with limit, Gao Min is back in first place. Meter here. Our last two divers gold medal forming the same meter. dive, two and a half high high. Well, that was not very high. Oh, look at that. Not much. Gao Min of China won both the one and three meter events at the 89 World Cup. Of course, an Olympic gold medalist on three meter. Two and a half high. Oh, look at that. Not much flash has come up, but it's still gone in a little bit short. The body was dead set straight, but it's gone in at an angle, not vertical. But the dive was very high, spun very quickly. Nicely on balance, double and straight body, but not vertical. Scores in the 7 to 8 range for 57 7 2. Gao. From the USA, Wendy Lucero. Sixth on the 3 metre at the 1988 Olympics. Well on the one meter here. Our last two divers performing the same dive, two and a half pike. Well, that one's not very high. Hands hit the water when she hadn't really straightened out. So I'd be giving this six and a half. Of course, the American Americans in the crowd here thinking it's great, trying to give that impression. There's only half a dozen of them, but they make a lot of noise. Let's have a look. Good strong hurdle. Double somersault pike. Hands hitting the water before she's really straightened out. Six and a half's up to seven and a half. Pretty good total, 54.6. After six dives then, Gao Min faulted on this dive yesterday. Gao Min of China. Well, you start to run out of superlatives for her, but she's been dominating diving since 86. In the world's back in Madrid, she won the three metre. And she's been dominant ever since. difficulty back one and a half pike faulted on this dive yesterday very fast spin once again and it makes it very difficult to stop the dive and get a drop on it so consequently as her hands hit the water on this dive the body's still moving around quite a bit she'll bow every time regardless it's, it's very fast and landing slightly on the shoulders. Mark down, as you suggested, Don, 46.08 for Gao. She heads for the hot tub. Wendy Lucero from Aurora, Colorado, 27 years old and a veteran in the US team. She'll be determined to do a good one. We haven't seen many. Mike 
position, got the entry position just right, but again, the feet have flipped over at the end. But the judges have been going with uh, Wendy, so we might see some sevens. Like Somersault, picked it out, just the feet flipping at the finish. Couple of sixes, up to seven, 47-5-2. Standings after seven rounds, Gao Min, three-point break now from Wendy Lucero. Like position one, Sports Institute. Danger dive. Gao got eight on this dive. Oh, oh, much four. better, that's a rip. Here's our top-ranked diver at the moment, Gao Min of China, 20 years old, from the Sichuan Sports Institute. Reverse and a half pike. Oh, much better. That's a ripper. That will certainly score big points from the judges. And overall, it carries a 2.4 difficulty factor. We've questioned her balance and control over the last day or so. But no problem here. Plenty of height, power, judgment, you name it. This dive had it. Eights and a top of nine. 57.6. Gao Min. With one hand round the middle. Wendy Lucero, currently second. And she challenged Gao. Reverse one and a half. It's the pike position. The danger dive. Remember, Gao got eights on this dive. One and a half all. Oh, this may get eights as well. Well done. She's responding to the challenge. You know, when we say that, her philosophy is that she doesn't feel like she wants to compete against somebody. She's just out there diving. One somersault pike. Came out at the right place. Pretty good entry. Sevens, seven and a half, and one eight. 51.12. Still second. Jody Rogers back to ninth. Barbara Bush with the entry. Well, not that time. What entry you could hardly... This is our leader. Gao Min. Now Gao's finishing with two fairly simple dives for, for her and ones that she does very well. Inward, two, inward one and a half somersault pike. 2.4. She's been having trouble with the entries. Well, not that time. What entry? You could hardly tell that one had taken place. And the 88 Olympic gold medalist on the three metre is nearing a one metre gold medal. 1991 Worlds. Look at this, straight up, fast pike and no problem with the entry. High scores indeed, three nines, a couple of eight and a halves, 61.2, that's the big scoring dive today. Wendy Lucero of the United States, you know, she was beaten by some 50 points in the trials in the US by uh, Ovenhaus, so she's really t turned that form around. She's going for the top of the leaderboard here. Reverse twister. One and a half somersault, one and a half twist. It looked okay till her knees got level with the water and then there was a slight twist or over with the feet. So interesting to see what the judges do at the end of it. I thought it was going to be a beauty, but... She won't get near that 70, I don't think, that she needs to overtake Gao. One and a half twist, just here. Yes, the heel's going over. Not quite the 50, with sixes and six and a halves. Always looks like she's enjoying her work. Barrel Ovenhaus is ninth, Motobuchi moving up to 10th, Yongyun's 11th and Barbara Bush. Gao Min. Needs a good dive to win the gold medal. She's got a bit of a break. She won a gold medal four years ago in Madrid. Big dive, reverse twister. Lost the feet at the start, but got them together and finished it off very well indeed. A wide stance taking off the end of the board. Took some time to get the legs together, but that should do it. That should give her the gold medal. A smile and a bow, and maybe a gold medal. Feet together now. One and a half twists, and the entry's good enough, I think. 49-1-4. Not her best, but probably good enough. Wendy Lucero. It's a big job to catch Gao. Don't think she can catch 70.2. She'd need nines almost from the judges. But she's capable of it. Oh, it's a good one. We will see some eight and a halves and nines here. This could be close, but 
70 points, near impossible for this dive. But a great way to finish, she's really happy. Up on the toes, good pike. And a great finish to the dive. And there's a delay in the scores. <laughs> and she's very happy with what she's done. And she's got high scores, not the nines that she needed to win. But that looks like a silver medal for Wendy Lucero of the United States. That's her best international result. Final standings then in the one metre.